This morning I decided to try to make this virtual shopping look a little bit more like you were visiting a shop. And this is one of the cupboards in my studio. I have to admit that normally it holds uh, paint and mold making supplies and actually cleaning supplies. But I cleaned it out this morning and set it up for you so that you can get that feeling that if you were to walk into one of your favorite little stores and have a chance to browse around. This is what you would see. So here is Charlsey and she's in her pink dress. I think this is just really great. I have to say that I was inspired to make the pink dress because a friend uh, found a lovely early check dress for one of her original Isana Walker dolls and I thought that was just the sweetest thing ever. So I rummaged around and f pulled out this nice early gingham that I had purchased oh, a couple of years ago and used it to make this dress for Charlsey. It's just a plain dress, but it has a lot of great details. You'll see she's got cartridge pleating there that's all hand done. And it's a very, very, very full skirt. Uh, the material is as I said, 24 inches wide and it's two widths of fabric in the skirt. So that's 48 inches gathered onto her, well, cartridge pleated onto her little 10 inch waist. And this is what the pinner apron, it'll give you a little bit of an idea. That is the bib and then there's a little skirt and ties. The ties for the apron are the stripe, but these, um, the skirt of the apron is is this darker pink, which is super cute. I don't know if you can see this. Those are actually little two-tone hearts. And they have this little, oh, sort of corally leaf print in the background. But they're little, they're little hearts and half is reddish and half is white. And then the binding fabric is a pink on pink stripe. And it also has a, like a little leaf print. So in the cupboard with Charlsey, I do have some new things, a very, very, very limited edition on this stuff. I have had a few people ask me about making greeting cards out of some of my photos. So I've done a way limited run on these and I'm offering two sets. Um, I'm offering an everyday set that has five cards that you could just send to a friend for just any everyday occasion. And then I've got a holiday set. And the holiday set has a birthday card, an Easter card, a Valentine's card, and two different Christmas cards. And they come with plain envelopes. And the price is $26 for five cards. And that does include the shipping by first class mail. Um, if you're international, I'll just, uh, I can bill you for the exact shipping to wherever you're at. The other thing I have here is these little buttons. I thought sometimes it's fun to have a little a little badge of something you love. I like to put them on oh my canvas shopping bags when I go uh, to a doll event or pin them on the lapel of a jacket. Um, it's just really cute. And right now I've got one sitting here on the band of this hat. That's also a fun thing to do with them. And this is a photo of one of the Izzy Bells I made. And it's just a little vintage uh, black and white tint to the photo. But it is one of my reproduction dolls. And she's standing there. In fact, this is the same doll on the Everyday Greeting card. So if you feel like you need to wear your heart on your sleeve or your favorite doll on your lapel, then, then this would be a fun little thing. Again, this is very limited edition and um, they're $10 each and that does include the shipping to the US. Again, just first class shipping, not, uh, not priority at that price. But that's the, the items that are new in the cupboard with um, Charlesy. But I do have one more little thing. You guys may have seen the little cut and stitch dolls that 
I've been showcasing, I've made these for years, but lately I uh, pulled them back out and I've been talking about them a little more. Now, there was a little teeny snafu when I had to reorder the fabric for this one of Isabeau. And it's, it's too big and it's not a mirror image. So I've got a very special deal here. I only have the two yards of this and I'm selling it image by image. And so once these are gone, I'm not gonna do this again. This was just um, one of those sort of happy accidents. And you can see this is, this is the last one of the, of, um, the smaller is a bow that, that I'd been sewing f around and sewing from. But she's, this, is, this one is the legs apart and this one is the legs together. But you can see she's much smaller. This, this one is 10 inches. And because they are not a mirror image piece like, like this one, you would have to back, use these for applique or back them with a plain fabric to make a little doll. Um, but I got a great deal on these ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they're $5 a piece, and that includes U.S. shipping. If you're international, they're going to be $6, uh, just so that I can pay to get it to you. Again, first class mail, and I'll just tuck, tuck them in a little letter envelope. So there's not any tracking on this, but um, that gets it to you very economically, and then you can start stitching and have a bunch of little Isabos for your very own. As I say, these make a really cute appliques on a quilt or a baby's bib or a wall hanging and then you could even create little applique on clothes um, you could do them as a doll with a plain backing I would just probably use a flesh tone fabric for that or white would be nice or you could get a little creative and use a print as well also cute uh, usually the only time I actually sew them back to back like this like these these mirror image ones is if I'm going to hang them on a Christmas tree or hang them in a window or something and I want to make sure that both sides uh, are the right side no matter how the little little hanging string twists and turns so these one-sided ones would be great for anything else and you and you could actually hang them up if you wanted they're going to be kind of big though for that because as I said they're just about 10 inches rather than the about eight that this turns out to be. So that's the new fun different things I have available. So those are the all the little limited edition things are this uh, 10 inch one sided print and oh I should just say I do have these commercially printed so that way they are machine washable. They're very um, stable with the dye colors and stuff so if you want to put it on apparel, quilts, uh, or whatever if you want to give it to your grandchild or your puppy you know who your kitty fill it up with uh, lavender to put in your drawers you can what I'm getting at is this is a washable fabric and the dye is not going to run and you can just treat it uh, like you would do any fine fabric I mean obviously don't break don't bleach it and you know treat it gently but it can definitely be washed then the other things are the greeting cards and the little, little, little badge pins. And then of course, sweet Charles here. And I'm gonna stop now and change her into the rest of her wardrobe so that you guys can see that. And again, I'll have still pictures up on this post too so that you can see everything close up, see all of her different wardrobe changes and whatnot but I thought it would be fun to just talk about a few of these things a little bit because that would give you a better idea of what everything is rather than me just trying to type it all out that sometimes the explanations get a little lost in that so onward and upward and let me get the rest of today's uh, third Thursday all set for you guys more later <music> 